Hi, and welcome to another John the Butcher tutorial. Now's the fun part of the day. We're going to make sausages today. I've got beef mince here. Um, we've got all the ingredients together. I've got the sausage skin. You know what? If it doesn't work out, you can make beef burgers or patties anyway, so it doesn't matter. But let's have some fun making some sausages. So now we've got to prepare the gun. We've got to take a section of the nozzle off the gun to allow enough passage for the sausage to come through, sausage meat. So you can use a sharp knife, a pair of scissors, or a saw. If you're going to saw it, there will be rough edges so you'll need to clean it down. I'm just using scissors, but if you don't feel comfortable, you know, the next door neighbor who's handy at doing things, just to perhaps chop the end of the, the nozzle off. But well, basically, I'm using a sharp pair of scissors and that's it. That's the nozzle ready to go. I've now got a hole in the nozzle to fit the sausage meat through. So now we're going to wash the skins and prepare the skins. We're just washing the salt out of these. I've got to be honest with you, they're not the nicest um, smelling things there are. They do, do have a bit of an order to them, but that's just the nature of the product. It's a sausage skin, it's a natural product. So I'm just washing the, uh, the, rough, the salt out. They are quite slimy and they're quite gooey. Um, yeah, what can I say, the slimy. But we need to wash them out and wash the salt down. There you go. It doesn't look appetizing, but it will make the sausages look nice. We're going to fill the sausage through the gun and have some fun. I've just put a bit of water through here to make it lubricant so I can fill the, the cannon itself with the sausage meat because I don't want to get any airlocks in there because I don't want disappearing sausages. much air out as you can. So we've got to fill the, the tube, the cannon, the tube. Just keep pumping it in, keep pushing it through. Slippy stuff, this stuff. Now we prepare the gun. I did have some film prepared just to just to make it airtight. And now we've got our AK forty seven ready to go. Just give it a test. Oh, there we go, and we're ready to go. This is the fun part. We've got our sausage skins, so we run a length off, find the end. You will get a few knots in there, you just need to untangle them. It's slippy stuff, as I say, it's not, it's really slippy. So what we do now, we put our fingers 
and uh, put some water in. The reason we do this is to lubricate the skin. We put the skin over the end of our sausage gun. Okay, so we, we've got the, the hole in the, we've got the end of the sausage skin, we put it on. This is the fun bit. Fill the sausage skin onto the nozzle. As I say, these are very, very slippy, slimy. Tie the knot on the end to stop the sausage meat running out. We've got the gun loaded, we've got the sausage skin on, we've got the knot tied in the end, we're ready to go. This could be a two-man operation or a one-person operation. Obviously, I'm here today, today by myself, so I'm going to do it as a one-person operation. I need to squeeze the trigger and hopefully the sausage meat will start to come out. You don't want to fill it too tight because we're going to have to link these sausages. And there's our sausage coming through. Okay, so we've, we've, we've filled it. What we need to do now is refill the sausage. The cannon, so keep your skin on the end. Just a disattach there. Take the tube out and the same process again. We've got to put more sausage meat in. And we start again. And so what we'll do is twist it off. And we're ready to show you how to link sausages now. There's a number of ways you can link sausages. If you don't feel comfortable, you can just grab and twist. And the same process, twist, twist. But we're gonna do it the traditional way. So we basically make how big we want our sausage, probably this big. So we twist. We then make a loop at the same size press together, twist, bring over the top, press together, so we're tying a knot, pull it through, but as you pull it through, make a loop, twist, tie together, over the top, make a loop, twist, together, over the top, And there you have traditional linked sausages. So we filled the gun with the slimy old skins. Now we're ready to fill it again. We are making two kilos of sausages, just over two kilos actually, with the ingredients. Probably 2.4, 2.5 kilos of sausage. So that's a lot of sausage. But you can freeze these. They will keep in your fridge for maybe three days tops because there's no uh, nitrates in there there's no preservatives so it is a fresh sausage that you're making so you can freeze them but they wouldn't keep like traditional butcher's sausage because there's not the preservative in there which is which is a good thing it's natural it's all natural everything you've got in here is absolutely natural and now we're going there nearly there last little bit stick it in the end Fill the cannon as much as you can. Right. We then put the nozzle back on. Screw it up. That's it. It's stopped. Pull it off. Pardon the expression, pull it off. Um, 
when you uh, tie a knot in the end of the sausage to stop any slipping out and we'll start with the linking again. Now what I've just shown you there is how to make a sausage. I've not used any fancy equipment. I've used a gun that I bought from uh, a local hardware store, a silicone gun. I've used the food processor to mix it. You don't really have to use the food processor. You can mix it by hand and put it through. Here we have sausages that will taste absolutely delicious. So what we'll do now is start to link them again. I'll show you one more time. So you've twisted the sausage make a loop so you get in the sausage and then pull the sausage through but then I've shown you so I'll just I'm a bit bored with it now so I'll just show you how we do it as we do it in a, in a butcher's shop we just link the sausages through and there you go you have your sausages. There you go. Traditional linked beautiful beef and chilli sausages how good are they? Imagine going around at your friend's house and saying I've got sausages but I've actually made them myself so we've got the sausages Next thing I've got to do is show you how to cook them. Not that I'm showing you how to cook a sausage, I'm just saying I will cook a few of these sausages, but I can't do that at the moment. I've only just filled them. I've got to allow the skins to dry off slightly and the uh, sausage meat to, to stay where it is and in place. So what we will do now is put them in the fridge just for the skin to dry out slightly because the last thing I want is burst sausages because that's where all the flavor is inside. Um, if you lived in a cold climate, you could hang them outside. Um, but we'll make sure the cat doesn't get them, but we live in Australia here, so I'm certainly not going to hang them in our climate because it's too bloody warm. Right, we've made the sausages. Notice how the colour's gone uh, slightly brighter now. They've been left to blue, so they've been in the fridge for a couple of hours. All you do now is cook them. Probably because it's a natural skin, you don't want to put them so they're on too high a heat. And I've done a few onions. There we go, beautiful sweet chilli and beef sausages. Just for you English people out there viewing, it just shows you it doesn't, the sun doesn't always shine in Australia. Mmm, smells delicious. So just look, you can see all the juices bubbling inside, so that's keeping all the flavour trapped inside the sausage. now finish them off and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.